Hi guys, it's currently a very wet, miserable Wednesday morning, and it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Uh, I'm just waiting for Mum to turn up. I've got about another 45 minutes, and I'm going to take this camera with me with some spare that with some spare batteries. Oh dear. Um, I suppose I should go downstairs and just measure that frame. As they've been the only people interested in it. I'll reply to them. Oh dear. Right. I'm going to put those in the fridge some sandwiches that I got this morning. Don't want to waste them. So I can go in there. Right. Um. Not a lot to say, really. Not, th not at this particular moment in time, anyway. I think, uh, your Nemo's just got up. It looks like my tabletta is charged as my cable has gone off. Let's have a look. I don't remember where the power button is on this. There it is. Delayed reaction. I don't think that's going to turn on. Working. It's a working. Right. Put these lights on for a minute. Um. Don't know why I bought them through because they're pretty much just blank cassettes. No. Oh, pardon me. I need to get on here and uh, clean the shite up. I may actually need that. That is for the lights that go under here. You get a choice of the metal clips or some some of those um, sticky back pads. And typically of me, I've used the sticky back pads on that. So that's going to be a bit of a pig, probably, to get those off. Right. I think there's enough room there. I think the laptop charger I want for this is actually in the bedroom. Because I was going to take this with me. So I could actually use my own laptop for a change. Whoops. He says trying to get it open. Not the one, is it? No. The one I want has actually got Toshiba written on it. That one. Fudge. No. That was the broken one for that HP. P. What's this one? <coughs> I think I found it on the floor. This is the one that came with that laptop dib dom me. Call him a dib dog because I can't actually think of anything better to call him. <laughs> right. That certainly fits better than the other power supply I've got. It's lighting up. <sighs> Haven't turned this one on for a while. It's got a habit of doing that, turns itself off as well. It's going to work this time. Well, it's going to shut itself off, I think. I don't know.
Oh, excuse me, I think I'm screaming now. There we go. This is still a little on the temperamental side. change that this is severely on the temperamental side Test failure. Can't remember what goes into BIOS. I'm just going to see if everything is uh, being picked up. I'm just going to give up. Come on. I got to that point and turned off. Yes, the time is correct. Date's correct. doesn't seem to be recognising the hard drive at the minute. I can't find it on here. We go under boot and the... Uh, it's not there. Might be our issue. That might be why it's getting temperamental. Let's just turn off. You know what? I'll just play with that later. So what I'm going to do is wait for Mum. It'll disappear to hers, and I'll talk to you later. You wouldn't have a telephone I could borrow, would you? 
I said, no, I said, I haven't put mine in my pocket. I said, I'm terrible for it. I said, I always leave it at home. She said, only my car's broken down. She said, and I'm still waiting for the, was it the RAC or the AA? I can't remember. Anyway, she said, um, and I need to just ring my daughter, she said, to let her know what's going on. She said, we were going into Norwich for lunch. She said, I don't think that's happening now. And I felt awful because I didn't have my phone with me. And even if I had, they weren't the credit on it. I'm like, oh, fuck me. And I couldn't help her. <laughs> what does she do? She just very well. She won't Right, I'm back home. Hey, I've got a bag of goodies there. I'll get into that in just a minute. First... Yeah, turn the camera around. Sign in on the PC and go and feed Nemo. Nope, didn't miss any keys. I've got a habit of missing keys <coughs> or hitting the wrong keys or both. Right, I'm sorry, Nemo. But, uh, the only meat you've got is what's left in the tin, and the rest will have to be, I think, yep, a few biscuits till the morning. And that's all I've got. Right. I'm leave the computer to do what it's got to do. I like to leave the computers to boot up until the hard drive light stops flashing. Right, I've just got to go in the fridge. A bit extra light on the subject. Right. So. I've got that. Lego architecture. My first architectural set. As well as. Birthday cards. Um. What else? Oh. Actually, three Lego sets in total. Uh, I'm just emptying the bag out. So I've got some room and I'll sort it out in a second. And the last item which I'm going to put up somewhere is... I'm not sure it is. A chunk of birthday cake, which I've got to be careful with. Can't scoff too much of that. That won't do my diabetes much good. Right. So... They got me this Lego Creator set. There's all the bits. And apparently Mum bought these ones as separate sets like that. But uh, I do believe they are one, three, two, double two. Yeah, they are one in the same set. Or part of the same set. But what a lot of people do... They'll buy a set that has two vehicles in it like this. And then put them up for sale separately. Um, <laughs> which means they can make profit on the set. It's a real easy way of making profit on the set. And in a sense it's not a bad thing. Because let's just say for argument's sake. I just wanted the limousine and not the helicopter. Because I'm not really into helicopters that much anyway. Although that does look quite nice. Um, and I could just go out and buy the limousine and I wouldn't have all that extra bollocks with it but I like having all the extra Lego pieces so I'd rather opt for the actual set itself but now some people just want part of a set and they are not willing to purchase a whole set just to get part of it so there's people out there that separate sets and sell sections of it off uh, separately <coughs> and there's those out there that sell retired sets for an elevated price as well just because they're retired but uh, I don't blame them in a way because that's a good way of funding the hobby it's a very good way of funding the hobby uh, if I had the money to actually do that in the first place I would. 
In fact, separating some sets might not be a bad idea. Oh, I thought I clicked on the web browser, I clicked on Skype. Whoops. <laughs> I wondered why Skype was coming up. So, I had a good day, apart from the weather being bloody crap and horrible. But other than that, a good day, I can't complain. Got a bit of an ingrown toe now, I'm going to have to get rid of. So many uh, birthday wishes today, I've actually lost bloody count. I had over 40 on Facebook alone. Far more than I was expecting, actually. But if I count what I've had in private messages, then yeah, probably over 40 now. Oh, for God's sake. Thank you. So, I've got some sets to build. I suppose I could do a little Lego haul video for the Lego channel, something to put up on there. I think I'll do that as well, actually. <sighs> My mind was so busy last night I couldn't sleep. It literally took me well over an hour to fall asleep. And, uh, <laughs> I know that's something that can happen with uh, non-autistic people, but it can be a lot worse with someone with autism. don't know why I said it like that at all, to be honest. I just do random things. I am a very random person. <laughs> Yeah, it's driving me up the wall. I even had, you know, like, just random memories from my childhood just suddenly pop up in my head, and I'm like, why the fuck am I thinking of that? Where did that come from? <laughs> not bad memories. Just, ugh, my mind just would not sell. I think it was because of uh, some news mum told me. Not. <clears throat> It's not bad news, but not so good news either. But I'm not going to go into details at this minute. Because she doesn't want me to go broadcasting it. Um, but yeah, there's there's no trouble. So, you know, don't think anything like that. <laughs> She's not in trouble, we're not in trouble. It's just something that's going to happen in the future. <laughs> None of us really want to happen, but it's a case of there's not many options, so we've got to go with it sort of thing. But like I said, no one's in any trouble or anything like that, so don't panic. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering, don't panic. I think only British viewers might get that reference. Unless you like watching British comedies and sitcoms, and then you might get it. That's an old reference from um, Dad's Army. see that Mr. Trump has won the election. <coughs> if I was American, not the one I would have voted for. But I know there's people on my Facebook who voted. I've got people on my Facebook, Facebook? Facebook who voted for Hillary. As much as I don't like the fact they voted for Trump, it's still their choice. And to be honest, there wasn't much choice between them. But uh, I do want to say that I'm very sceptical on whether anything about Donald Trump, you know, that was slandered about by the media, is actually true. And I'll tell you why. 
America has never ever had a female president. So I knew damn well. I know I put on Facebook I think Hillary was going to win, but I knew damn well Trump would. Because I know America would never vote in a female president. So to me, it stood to reason that Donald Trump would win. Um, and I personally think that because of this, and the fact that Donald Trump isn't even a politician, he's a multi-billionaire, you know, he has no political experience, I think that's why the media and the opposition were slandering him as much as they could, in the vain hope that voters would vote for Clinton, and they didn't. But we'll s only time will tell. You know, he might actually turn out to be a good president, he might actually turn out to be a complete sack of shit. We don't know. We don't even know if anything the media has said is true, do we? We can only take it for granted. You can either believe what the media say, or don't believe. I like to sit on the fence, so to speak. Um... Because the same thing happens here. Look at what the British media did to Jeremy Corbyn. Every little thing he did, they tried to make him look bad. Even though he was doing, you know, something that was completely good and legit. They still tried to twist it so he looked bad. It's just what the media do. And no doubt other, you know, political parties might have been, you know bit of money under the table to get these media to do it, you know. Here, report on this. <laughs> you know, if you, if you can slander our opposition here because we don't like them, we'll give you such and such money. I wouldn't be at all surprised. I mean, we all know politicians are dirty scoundrels in other ways, so why wouldn't they, you know, bribe the media to slander their opposition? Just saying. Anyway, I don't like to get into politics on this channel. But that's just my two cents. Oh. Oh. And I actually now got dropped off and found that uh, a gate has been put across the entrance to the car park. Not that that matters, because Mum can still get the 4 before in and out. But I'm not really sure why they did that. You know, there's a lot of people just swinging at the car park, parking up and going across to the post office to post a letter or something. But, uh, I don't know. On a good note, Lidl's has been getting a lot of praise for their new look. In fact, I didn't think much of the grey colour they chose, but I've gone for this really sort of dark grey colour as their store colour now. But when I thought about it, it was a lot better than the blue and yellow combo they had. I hated that. I really did. But I think the layout is much better. It does seem like they've reduced the selection of certain items they used to stock, especially with cold meats and pastries. Either that or I just haven't found them yet, but I don't know. <laughs> they just look like it when I've been in there a few times this week. Um, but yeah, I actually have to say I like what they've done. It's not often I'll actually go into a store. That's been changed around, keeping in mind I'm autistic and one of the bad traits I have is I don't like change. <laughs> I like things being left as they are unless it's an absolute necessary change which is probably what you know it ticked me off yesterday because mum told me about this future change and I don't like change and of course that just set my mind racing last night with thoughts about this change coming up and whatnot so I couldn't sleep properly. <laughs> <coughs> But, uh, yeah, it's not often. Not all autistics are the same, by the way. So just because I've got certain traits doesn't mean the next one's going to have exactly the same traits. 
that's why it's a spectrum because it's it differs. Anywho, yeah, I actually have to say I like what they've done. I've pretty much learned where they've moved because I've completely moved all the stock around in the store. It's not just a few shelves; it's the whole lot has been changed. So, uh, yeah, to me, there's a bit more rhyme and reason to it. Right. My money goes in after midnight tonight. I'm going to pay the phone bill. I'll pay the service charge. I haven't got a lot of choice. It's going to leave me short, but I won't actually be that short. With any luck, I'll sell a couple of bikes by the weekend as well. Um, someone did message me this morning regarding the boys Apollo I've got wanting no frame size, but I haven't had a chance today to go out and measure it. So I may have lost a potential sale there. But oh well. Can't have everything, can we? Right. You missed me as well. Are you were going to wish me happy birthday? I'd wish you happy birthday if I actually knew when your birthday was. I could just make up a day. Could should we have your birthday on my birthday? How does that sound? Shall I? We don't. Should we wish him happy birthday as well? So I don't actually know when his birthday is. He was about four or five years old when I got him. I actually think my stepsister said he was three years old when I got him. And I've had him six years. So that would actually make him about nine years old. Beautiful boy still though. And yeah, hey, you're a beautiful boy. He sits here, he's purring away. I don't know if it's audible on the camera, but he's purring away. So he like the he only gets up on the desk like this. Sorry about that. The uh, battery's decided to die. Anyway, I've transferred what footage I had to the PC. It's all in Movie Maker, ready to go. And as I was saying before the batteries died, Nemo only likes to get up on my desk when I've either got the camera on or the phone to my ear. Don't know why. It's just something he's always done. Anyway, I'm going to say I flinch every time he jumps on my lap because I think he's going to stick his claws in when he does it. But he, it's not often that he jumps up using his claws, thankfully. Anyway, I'm going to say thanks a lot for watching. No, I'm not because I've forgotten, some, forgotten something. Blah, 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 blah. <coughs> Oddly enough, I've not had anything to drink, even though it's my birthday. I just, I'm not a drinker. Anyway, <laughs> tomorrow I'm planning to go and get those uh, lights from Lidl's that I wanted. So I'll probably do a video installing those. Uh, I've decided to get on my lap. Um, as well, more so the lights that I've got to go under that bench over here. Um, anyway. And that was it because uh, tomorrow's payday uh, got a couple of important bills to p p p he twitches his ears every time I say anything with a p in it p p p <laughs> bless him yeah um, so I'll hopefully go and get those tomorrow the lights as long as Liddles has got them in. They said Thursday in their leaflet, but that don't mean nothing with them. <laughs> if not, then I've got no idea what I'm going to be up to tomorrow. Hopefully it's not going to be pissing it down with rain, either. Um, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow, I hope. Well, at some point I will, anyway, so talk to you tomorrow. Bye.